I don't know, it's just what you do in Wisconsin. It's what everybody wants to catch and everybody likes to eat. A new plan will give people more of what they want. Walleye. Wisconsin is making a big investment in putting more of this popular fish in our waters. We fully expect that by increasing the number of stock fish, large walleye fingerlings, by some perhaps seven to eight times what we've been able to stock in the past through a combination of both state tri and tribal hatcheries as well as private hatcheries, the whole mix, we expect to be able to put enough fish out there that they will be seen by those who want to harvest walleye. It won't be instantaneous, it'll take a few years obviously for those fish to grow, but certainly it should provide some better walleye fishing in a number of walleye lakes. The initiative was created by the DNR and Governor Scott Walker. It's funded by the legislature and taps state dollars as well as fishing license revenues. The Wisconsin Walleye Initiative is an effort to increase our stocking of walleyes and particularly large fingerling walleyes which have very, very good survival under most conditions. We've had demand for them for quite some time that has been largely unmet. Money is coming this way both for infrastructure as well as operating costs in order to enable us to stock more of these fish. The biggest thing that the Walleye Initiative is going to affect us here at the hatchery is to do renovations and some repairs to create more space to rear these large fringling walleyes. For instance, we have four earthen ponds on the grounds that we haven't been able to use since 2006. Part of this initiative is to reform those and to put uh, plastic liners on them to make it easier on the fish and easier on the staff to rear quality fish. There'll be some good additions and they'll, they'll last forever. Stocking is only one tool the DNR uses to manage fisheries when Mother Nature isn't getting the job done. Harvest regulations and protecting and restoring habitat are critical tools as well. But stocking can potentially help improve fishing the fastest in most waters needing help. But stocking does no good if the fish don't survive. The benefit we're going to see from that is the survival rate's going to be much, much higher. On an inch and a half fingerling, we're seeing maybe 1 to 2 percent survival. On uh, these larger 6 inch fingerlings, you're going to see survival rates anywhere from 15 to 30 percent in most cases. And the initiative's ultimate goal? Uh, what I hope this initiative will achieve is just providing better opportunities for the walleye fishermen out there. In these lakes where we do put the smaller fingerlings in and they haven't been surviving, it's going to be a real, real boost to those lakes. Well, I think our goal with the initiative is to get more walleyes out on the landscape for everybody to, to enjoy and catch and ultimately, I guess, eat. I think uh, it does a lot for tourism because everybody likes to go fishing walleye and everybody loves to eat all walleye, so I think it'll help our state a lot.